Tired of making long, drawn-out selections in Photoshop? Don't worry, I've got a secret that's gonna save you a ton of time, and it's coming up in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Justin Seeley here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be jumping into Photoshop so that I can show you how I jumpstart my selection workflow. This is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial on making selections. So if that's what you're looking for, you should probably go somewhere else. This is simply, I've got a complex selection that I need help getting started with. What's the best way to do that? Well, actually, there's one simple feature in Photoshop that makes it super simple. Let's check it out. So I'm right here inside of Photoshop. And what I want to do is make a selection of this guy that's standing up against this wall. The problem is the tones that are in the wall go very well with the tones that are in his hat, his shirt, and also his jeans. So using things like the quick selection tool, for instance, might allow for a little bleed on the edges and a little extra pickup down there and maybe not picking up the right thing as we go up. As you can see, it gets really messy. So. What's the solution to that? Well, I could use the pen tool, I could use the lasso tool, I could use a lot of things, but instead, there's one button that's now in Photoshop that makes it super easy to do. It's right up here at the top and it's called Select Subject. You can also go up to the Select menu and choose Subject as well. But let's go ahead and just click Select Subject and then Photoshop is gonna use Adobe Sensei technology to automatically analyze the photo and figure out exactly what it is that we're trying to select and make its best guess by selecting it for us. Let's check this out. Go and boom, just like that. Look at that. There is an instant selection around this guy. And if I go into select and mask and then turn the onion skin to where I can actually see this guy kind of on a black background, you can see it did a pretty decent job. Let's change this over to something a little bit easier to see like white did a pretty decent job of selecting that right out of the gate. Then all you would have to do from here is of course refine the selection by using the various tools over here on the left. But this is a game changer in terms of how to jumpstart your workflow. So the next time you have something really complex that you want to select in Photoshop, try this command, select subject or just hit the select subject button when you have one of the selection tools selected and see what Photoshop can do for you. It might turn out to be absolutely amazing. If nothing else, it'll be a nice jump start to get you going in the right direction so you can then refine the selection into something a little bit more usable. Then that's it, really. That's it for today's tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them below. Or if there's something you'd like to see here on the channel, don't be afraid to drop me a comment there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter. I am at Justin Seeley. You can find some of my photos on Instagram. I'm at the Justin Seeley. And as always, if you can, please subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, turn on notifications so that you never miss a single piece of content that I produce. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial today. Hope to see you again real soon. Yeah.